nothing. I don't care how hard you go, how deep you go. Give me every inch of that motherfucking pot. Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Armani Rose. Thank you guys so much for tuning back into my channel with another video. Girl, I know it's been so long, but girl, I'm not gonna make any excuses for myself, but your girl has really been going through it tremendously. And when I gave y'all a life update video, but baby, it's been a lot of things transpiring that I do not want to bring to the camera or the, like me getting a possible surgery revision, me getting my body done. Girl, there is so much. And I'm just sorry I left y'all in the motherfucking dark. I'm sorry. I so officially hit over 1,000 subscribers. That I am tremendously grateful for. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for the bottom of my heart. If you guys are new to the family, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Subscribe. Trust me, um, I'm trying to get back on this YouTube shit. Anxiety has a strong toll on me and getting in front of a fucking camera. It takes a lot. In 2015, I was in ninth grade was always exploring different apps exploring my sexuality and curiosity about boys now i was on google searching up you know things that i should not be finding if you catch my drift i was searching in you know beep 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 beep, beep. somehow this app popped up which was grinder I don't know how I should go about approaching this. I'm like, I've never done anything sexual with a guy. I just know I have strong feelings for one. I know how they make me feel. Woot, 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 woot. Contrary to my other video about me, you know, doing the do, the hot. You would know that from that very moment, like, yeah, yeah, I like boys. This, this, I could see myself doing this, you know? It got to a point where it started asking me, am I a bottom or a top? He wasn't sure at the time. I was like, maybe I could be a top, but then maybe I could be like a bottom. This is before I knew that there was more spectrums of the whole top, bottom, verse, motherfucking verse top, verse bottom. I don't know. These bitches out here want to be motherfucking Nissan Versas. That's all I knew. I'm like, bitch, oh, you say you're a Versa, so basically you're a Nissan Versa. Got it. I put bottom because I knew for sure, like, I'm like, baby, I, I want me a masculine man. I want somebody to do me in the worst way, honey. I want, because it never crossed my mind that I'm like, yeah, I will be the one telling somebody to bend over. No, baby. I'm getting the bend in started browsing you know i'm seeing cute guys in the area now in south central if anybody know about the grinder scene or these apps there's a lot of dl men i never knew what dl meant i didn't know what any of that was i'm just like baby i'm just here to experiment try something new i lied about my age i told people i was 20 when bitch i was really 15 and you know, I'm texting guys and they're like, you look kind of young. I'm like, yeah, I may be young, but I'm ready. I may be young, but you know, baby, it's a thing or two that I could teach you and you could definitely teach me. Hey, I was getting all kinds of messages from different guys, you know, older men, um, guys in their 30s, 40s. Hell, even guys in their early 20s were messaging me talking about, damn, you know, you know, you like, you have like DSL. What the fuck is DSL? I'm like, bitch, I have a DS. Like, are y'all talking about gaming systems? I'm like, bitch, I got a DS at home. Like, do you want me to add you, bitch, so we can play some, some motherfucking Wii Sports or something or some little ping pong game? What you trying to do? I'm like, cause baby, the DS was on go. This one profile I came across, very good looking man. His bio said something about like DL, BBC thug. I liked masculine men, but baby, when I seen that man's picture and what he was packing, oh girl, I knew he was finna turn me every way but loose, honey. I to be his motherfucking Wetzel's pretzel, bitch. He was about to get me, flip me, and rub it down, honey. Baby, he was gonna fold me like a lawn chair, okay? He was gonna fold me and do me in the worst way. Sending him pictures with my 
with my uh with my booty shorts you know creased up the cheeks booty cheeks perked up you know arching my back showing him what i got come on my kale make him feel it in a back my kale like i was giving him my all but via text message with pictures we ended up planning a day that we could meet my mama at the time she did not want me to go anywhere with she'd be like where you going who you going with where what time and when will you be back even though i had friends in high school it was always never i could go over their house i could never spend the night i could do never x y and z because for some reason she just didn't trust me he picks me up from the bus stop and he drives me to his house we're in the car and i'm looking at this man up and down i'm like oh this man's so fucking fine broad shoulders the tattoos the waves honey the waves bitch and the most importantly the gun the gun bitch the gun way how he had it laying next to that wood oh baby it did something to my spirit honey i said oh yeah i'm with a real shooter yeah i was like baby if anything happens to me he gonna bust a few rounds in a bitch but he bust a few rounds in a bitch <laughs> this place and he tells me wait outside for a second okay i'm waiting outside 10 minutes go by baby it's hot as a motherfucker i'm like nigga did you forget that i was out here so he comes to get me he's like okay you got to be real quiet because my mama and my brother here you ain't got your own place you told me you got your own place so this grown ass man is sneaking my minor ass into his home his house he's telling me to be quiet shut up be quiet he's giving me a layout map of how the house is and how to quickly get to the room without being seen okay passing all these bedrooms the bathrooms i passed his mama's room the mama up in there watching a movie laid out in the bed she didn't see me the brother was in his room sleeping and i go to his room like nothing ever happened and he turns on the tv he turns on a little bit of music and he turns on the ac so i'm like okay this is nice we vibing i'm like baby this is nice we vibing we chilling I'm sitting on the edge of this man's bed like, oh my God, like, baby, he about to give it to me. He about to tear my little hole all the way up, baby. He about to, he about to do me like a bitch in the streets. About 20 minutes go by of me contemplating if I really want this man to take my virginity, be the first to pop my little cherry or what. This man, he's gripping my booty. He's massaging my booty. And he pulls out oil, baby. He pulls out the baby oil. And girl, he said, I'd be right back. He told me he'd be right back. He took the baby oil, warmed it up a little bit in the microwave. I mean, he warmed that oil up, girl. You thought he was about to glaze me down like a damn rotisserie chicken, bitch. Buttered me down, soothed me up, and lathered me like a motherfucking turkey. About to get propped in the oven, girl. He started kissing on my neck. He started kissing on my back. And so he made it to my crack. Uh, he asks me, have you ever got ate out before? And I'm like, what you mean ate out before? He's like, have you ever had your ass ate out? And I was like, no, why? He's like, cause I'm about to eat you out. I said, okay, all right. I'm trying to see what that be like. Go ahead. Go for it, Papa. I didn't know whether to run, scream, or just sit there and let him take me. I didn't know what to do. I just know, baby, I felt so good. I thought I was going to see the pearly gates up above. So he was doing his one, two, one, two. A little open up the safe. Bitches got a lot to say. He kept asking me, are you ready? Are you ready? And I'm looking at this man like, baby, I'm ready. But then I'm looking at his little friend, which was not so little. Baby, that mother about this thick and about this motherfucking width. Okay? From base to tip. 
Girl, I knew I was in trouble. I knew I was in trouble. I was like, yeah, baby, I'm not about to take this. He about to have me hurting. I'm about to be walking with a limp for a motherfucking whole week. The oil that he heated up, the leftover oil, he started using that to lather up the entry point. He started using that oil to lather up the entry point. He puts on a condom and he's like, are you ready? He's like, I need you to arch your back. I arch my back, start in my breathing positions and he goes to put it in and when I tell you, when that man put it in, girl, I must have scrumped. And he quickly put my face into the motherfucking pillow and was like, if you got a scream, you better bite that motherfucking pillow. I been not hear a peep come out of you. So he started thrusting me. He started doing all these things. And after a while, it started to feel good. The pain went away. About 10 to 15 minutes of him thrusting me, you know, I'm like, bitch, let me show out a little bit. Let me start throwing it back. Let me... So, girl, I started... I started giving him a little riding action. Girl, I'm like, bitch, I'm a pro. I'm a motherfucking pro, honey. I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Girl, so I'm bouncing. I'm riding. I'm throwing it back front, back, side to side. Get on all fours and ride. Like, ooh, bitch. This is happening. This is happening. And he's like, you know, he's telling me it feels good. He's like, damn, you, you know, you real tight, but it feels good. You know, I'm about to get you open. Woo -woo -woo. So then, girl, it started making fart noises. I was like, who is that? That's you making that noise. I said, what you mean that's me? The more I pound you, the more you're going to be open. And I was like, oh, well, keep doing that. Because, baby, them sounds, it was getting very much whistle while you twerk. <laughs> Try a different position. So he flipped me over like a patty. He put me on my back. Girl, when I tell you that man put my legs over my head and folded me like a pretzel. So he wrapped my legs around my head and locked in. Baby, I was in for a rude awakening. That man was... Bruh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Ooh, he was like just just really gassing me up. Like, yeah, your shit's so tight. It's so wet. It's so creamy. Woo -woo -woo -woo. And I'm looking at him doing. I'm like, oh my God. Like, is this really happening? Like, I'm really giving in this. I'm really giving this man my motherfucking all, oh, my soul. Like, he's busting it down. Cause baby, I'm feeling it. I'm clawing this man in his motherfucking back. I clawed that man so good in his back, baby. I left a mark on his back. Like he's just digging deep and i'm telling him i'm like daddy i'm like oh i'm like daddy i want you so bad i'm like give it to me daddy don't stop i don't, I don't care how hard you go how deep you go give me every inch of that motherfucking pipe finally he was like i'm about to i'm about to bust i'm about to bust i'm about to bust girl when i tell you that man got faster and faster so he got faster and faster and faster as he sang it and then finally he gave one good pump and I fucking scratched the fuck out of his back. And he just let it out. He just let it out. Baby, he was loud with it. I was like, baby, I know your mama and your brother heard you. I know they heard you. Because, baby, the way my cheeks was sounding when you was clapping and digging deep, I know they heard me. I know they heard me. Because, baby, I was moaning for my life. I was like, oh, daddy. Girl, I was moaning for my life. Myself up. Because, baby, I was like, girl, oh, I felt so open. And for any of my girls out there that be bottoming, you know that feeling that I'm talking about after you have, you know, penetration sex. You know that feeling I'm talking about. You just feel so open. And you just feel like, bitch, if you do the wrong thing, your whole stomach is going to fall the fuck out. I was so shocked that I did not paint this man because mind you, I kind of ate a large breakfast and I was surprised that I did not paint that man. And I was really happy because I was in fear. I'm like, bitch, if I paint this man in the midst of this, this is going to be so embarrassing and nasty. But God was with me. God was with me and I did not paint that man by the grace of God. Man had the audacity to not even want to take me back to the bus stop i had to walk all the way back to the bus stop and i'm just like well damn after i just gave you some good x y and z you're not even gonna at least take a bitch back to the bus stop girl i walked all the way to the bus stop waited on the bus 
And as I'm waiting on the bus, who do I see drive past me? You're telling me you couldn't drive me off at the bus stop. The same direction that you're coming is the same direction that the bus is going to come pick me up from. Whatever. So from that day on, I never seen that man again. Do I regret giving him my virginity? Yes. Was it good? Yes. Did I like it? Yes. Would I do it again with that same person if he ever came to me again in this lifetime? No. I enjoyed it. And from there on, I just been a certified bottom girl. Taking it everywhere I can. Be sure to like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section about your first time. Or let me know what you thought about this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, you guys. We are going strong. I know I be bullshitting with the videos but bear with me for those of y'all who's been bearing with me through these tough times i love you i truly appreciate you but as always i'll see you guys in another video thank you guys so much for tuning in i love you guys so much and if you want another story time about many of the other crazy stories or things that i have done let me know because girl i got a lot of stories i can go days about some things that i didn't sing done Anyways, y'all, that's all I got for this video. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye!